Hello, on this video I'm going to talk about Python variables. A variable is a way for you to store a value. And also a variable has a data type. A data type is the type of the value that you're going to store on the variable. The most common data type are string, integer and float. So let's take a look on these three types of variable. From the past video, we have a couple of variables that I had already created. So age, I know it's an integer. A integer, a integer is a whole number. It can be positive, it can be negative, or zero. So in this case, the integer is 21. Another data type is a string. A string can be anything you want it to be as long as it comes within quotes. So Jane can be a string. 21 in this case is also a string or 21 Jane is also a string. So this is a string. And the next data type is a float. A float is any number that has a decimal value. So any number that has a decimal value is a float. So this is a float. Now there is a function called type and within the function we can check the data type of a given variable. So here instead of printing the variable I'm gonna print the type of the variable. So if I run this program, it gives me integer. Now I can do the same thing with name and I can print the data type of name. In this case, it's a string. And if I do the same thing with temperature, I will get a float. So what I want you to understand from this is that variable is a place where you can store a value. Those values can have a different type. Some of them are type integers, some of them are string, some of them are float. There are many types of data. I'm just showing three of them and these three are the most used data type out there. Now the good thing about variables is that you can also reuse this variable. Here on the name I can do name and equals banana. In other words, I assign a new value to the same variable. So right here, if I print, so first I print 21 Jane, it comes from this line, and then I reassign a value and print a different name. So you can reuse this data cut. So you can reuse these variables as many times as you want. And you can also recreate the variable. So in this case here, because the data type is the same, you just reassign a value, but you can also assign it a integer. And if you run this program, you will print now 12 as an integer. All right, so the next topic is naming the variable. So the variable must start with a letter or underscore. There's no other option, no numbers, no special correct there. And within the name, you cannot have spaces, no punctuation, a special correct there. Underscore is okay though. Underscore is the only thing you can have within your, your variable name. And also find a name that makes sense for your variable. So if you're gonna be working with distance or, or length, do not name a variable banana. How dare you? So name your variable something that makes sense. And a goodie, and the next thing you should never use is a keyword. A keyword is reserved by Python. So let's take a look on keywords before we start doing some variable naming. So the Python has a lot of keywords and, and this is just some of them. 
So these keywords have a special meaning for Python. So therefore, you cannot use these keywords, but for the intention that they were created for. So if you want to create a variable named false, it's going to get you an error or any other reserved word. All right, so back to the code. Here are some of the variable names. So if you're going to create a variable called age, again, do not name this banana. If you name this banana, it's going to work just as fine. However, it's going to be very confusing for whoever is reading your code. Still, no problem whatsoever. Your code will run. It is just very confusing. And also, we cannot use any reserved word. So here, if I want to create a variable named false, then it's not going to work. It's going to give me an error. So reserved words cannot be used. Now, the last thing to keep in mind is that because it's case sensitive, so if I put everything here in lowercase, then this program will run just as fine. No problem, it works because it's case sensitive. False with lower F is totally different than false with capital F. However, again, this is very confusing. So name your variable something that makes sense. Let's go over a little bit of what you can do with these variables. So first I'm going to create a variable here called age equals 21. I can print this variable. Works just fine. I can do some mathematical calculation with that. I can add something. So here I just add 10 to the variable age. So now it prints 21 and then it prints 31. Or I can do some multiplication as well. And you can do just about any mathematical calculation on an integer. So these are the mathematical operator that you can use on Python. The addition, subtraction, multiplication, division are self-explanatory. And so is the exponentiation. The only two here that might be new for you is the modulus and the floor division. So let's take a look on how the modulus and floor division work. So I'm going to print 5 divided by 2. When I divide 5 by 2, I'm going to get a floating point, which is 2.5. If I do the floor division, and if I run this program, it gives me 2. So this operation always, no matter what, gives me an integer. So it's not going to round down or round up the number. It is just going to truncate whatever it's after the decimal point. So for example, if I divide a 9 by 3, it will give me the 3. So you always truncate the decimal value of a division. The other one is the modulus. The modulus gives you the remainder of a division. So the remainder here is 0 because 9 divided by 3 is 3 with no remainder. Now if I have a number that has a remainder, it gives the remainder 1. So if I divide it by 11, the remainder is 2. And if I do 12, the remainder now is 0 again. And these operations are the same with uh, floating point. So if I use a floating point, I want to have a, a different remainder as well. All right, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And so is the exponent. And so is the exponent. Expon and so is the exponent. Ex exponentiation.